then we'll go here. Yep, and then we'll put now just to demonstrate that it doesn't really matter. We'll put the now. I'm, I need to put a, a two platforms: a freight platform and a fluid platform. But the spot, the placement of the platforms is really important because. We're going to have a train up this end that's going to pull in. And the first part of the train is the train engine. Then it will have a freight container, a, 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 a let me bring it up so I say the right word. It has a freight car that is for this and a freight car that is this. And then there'll be an engine at the rear. The train will then go this location. So now it's driving this way. And the first to arrive is the train engine. Then the fluid car is the second to arrive. So we have to build the platforms in that order. So if we go down, we have to put the fluid platform first. And I'm going to put it on the other side because I wanted to demonstrate that. And then the next one will be the freight platform and that's it so this is a really important step when creating your stations uh, and especially with the um, these backwards forwards layouts you have to know how it's being set up and you have to you have to keep this in mind because what happens is if you suddenly go and add another platform here which is a uh, a, a, a freight car and it was a a, uh, a freight platform then the train would change it would the engine wouldn't be here the engine would be here and then the weight would pull in up there would be different so you'd have to rebuild it at that end uh, so whether that would be to delete the station and move the station forward or to reshuffle the so there's a lot involved with planning your train station setups uh, and then you just have to run railway lines between the two. Um, so you will see in a, in, a, in a while why I, I generally don't use this method myself. And I will demonstrate another method about how to make that work. But here you can see we now have the everything set up. All that remains is we need power and we need... Um, uh actual train so at the front of the and this is the big thing uh about train stations uh and this will help you understand why i never run power to the temporary oil setup we did earlier and that is because power is transmitted on the train network as the train tracks so what you do is um we're going to use this as the example that I'm going to hook the power from here to the power connector on the train platform. Now we can come up to the platform and we can see we're connected to our main power grid. And then if we go down to our other location down here, so let's say this was our remote location where we we, we were going to set up a, an oil platform or a, a processing platform or another base, it doesn't matter. Uh, if you connect the power to a power line, here we have power here. So when you put down like a, uh, a jump pad, yeah, bang. Oh, I've got to wait for the prime. We have uh, power at our remote location. So I didn't need to spend 30 minutes to an hour running power to a new location. Uh, and that's why I never ran power lines to the temporary oil base and just did um, a biomass burner set up there because I knew we were going to be doing this.